everybody welcome back to my channel my name is lucy silu 2d and thank you guys so much for joining me once again thank you for everybody who's like sharing and subscribing i want to tell you guys the secret of keeping a secret all right um and welcome to a supernatural life with me lucy silu 2d let's get into it okay so this is what happened to me you guys um in the beginning of 2022 um as i said in my testimony the lord allowed me to get into a relationship um with my amazing husband now um and at the time the lord spoke so much in my heart that i should not tell anybody um and so when i say anybody this is outside of my parents because remember um i when you were a child i was even still living with my parents at the time i was under their covering so there was no way that i can keep this a secret from my parents so no excluding my parents um the lord said you know i should tell my parents and after telling my parents and praying um about this relationship before getting into it anyway um then you know the lord instructed me who i should tell about the relationship and who i shouldn't tell and how i should should try and keep this um, relationship sacred to him um, until the time he allows me to tell people um, about it and I really thought this was an important thing to share with you guys because um, we live in an age right now where social media you know is a sort of um, an extension of like you know um, or a platform where we can um, freely express our thoughts and things that we um, you know experience and share it with other people which is good um, you know but as a citizen of the kingdom you need to understand that whatever the Lord allows you to be in a season or a time you have to um, realize that it is all about God first and so when he um, brings relationship um, or business or an idea to you it is very important to keep something until he can release it I want to make an example today about um, John the Baptist, for example, right? In the word of God, it tells us actually that John had to, he lived in the wilderness, ate locusts and dressed funny um, for a particular time until he could actually, um, until his time, that's actually what it says. And there's so many references in the scripture where God, um, you know, references to a particular time where something can be released or can be done. Um, this is because everything um, that we do um, is influenced by spiritual forces or entities or whatever um, and so whenever God allows and brings something in our life it is very important at, at instances to protect it because let, let me tell you something the enemy doesn't have knowledge until you give him knowledge and so when you open and say something and announce it into the atmosphere sometimes you are prematurely doing so because you might not even have the strength to cover that thing um, and so God does want us to keep secrets and points and maybe this is for you today to say maybe there's someone that you like maybe there's something that's happening in your life if you do not feel at peace or you are nervous about telling people take it to the lord first before you tell people before you tell your friends before you tell people you think are close to you um or are really close to you it's not about like being scared of witchcraft or thinking that your friends are not gonna be happy for you no it's just about god and his time of releasing things think about moses and this is a revelation that my friend gave to me you know as we as I came to time for telling people and she said to me remember Moses that he you know was sort of put into the water and covered and then he was released um, you know by his um, mother and then picked up by Pharaoh's daughter and then still he was still kept a secret you know and raised um, by you know sort of we can say a nanny um, in the palace you know he was kept a secret for a time because there was a purpose that needed to be fulfilled you must remember that when you come into when you've asked God for something and he releases it to you his standard needs to follow and protect this new thing um, so that it can come into full bloom most of us have actually lost our you know missed out on blessings because we are so in a rush to post it on Facebook to post it on Instagram to tell our friends about it not because your friends are gonna do something to you no remember when you announce something in the atmosphere you're not only telling your friend the enemy then gets knowledge and then is able to either manipulate a situation or actually cause forces to come against something that you could have covered and protected until God actually released this into your life. Another thing, um, example that we can make is Jesus. 
Jesus, it was not his time. He kept saying so often, it's not my time yet. So don't tell anyone. It's not my time yet. So just go and tell the priest about the, the you know, about the testimony. It's not my time. It's not my time. Most of us, it is not your time. Maybe you are pregnant and you just want to tell everybody and put it on Instagram because that's what everybody is doing. It might just not be the time. Sometimes we think that because things actually happened and we, we blew the horn early and it happened and maybe it actually ended up happening in the sense that maybe if I told people about my, my relationship or my marriage early and then I still got married it doesn't mean that maybe you're not going to get married or something weird's going to happen no sometimes you have just given access too early to the enemy before something was fortified um you know and so God is a God who is a God of preparation and he's a God of order uh, and so most of the time we miss out on those kind of things because we just don't know how to keep quiet for me I kept um, the Lord told me keep this relationship a secret. I kept it quiet until I kept it quiet for around 10 months. For 10 months, even when I got engaged in December, um, kept it a secret because that's what God told me. And at some point I was so frustrated because I wanted to share this joy with my cousins. I wanted to share it with my friends. But the Lord said to me, Lucy, keep it and keep it until. Sometimes we actually experience... Um, abortions in certain things in our lives because we are too quick to want to share things with people you are too quick let me tell you something when you when something happens in your life when you take it to the lord let him give you instruction of how to go about it until it comes into full bloom sometimes the lord might say don't tell your best friend because holy spirit is your best friend he knows why you need to keep it just for a while and let me tell you something there's something that i heard from jackie perry hill that was just so amazing she said we often think that waiting is punishment but waiting is protection waiting is protection because then we often come back when things don't work out right or there's just too much attack or too much whatever against you know relationship whatever you're trying to do and we think oh my gosh um that means maybe it's not from god or you know maybe this maybe no it's because you didn't listen you didn't listen you were impatient um you know and so let's be patient with our processes understand why god says wait understand why god says keep quiet um, because in that time of keeping quiet, you are fortifying something. You are fortifying it. You are making it strong so that by the time people know, even when the enemy tries to come in, he finds a solid foundation there and that something is already established. So thank you guys um, so much um, for liking, sharing and subscribing. I'm going to put a clip here of my engagement uh, so you guys can, can see that. Um, God is so faithful. Um, I, that, I, I, I'd love to tell you a little bit about that day. That day, my husband came late. We had a, um, a, you know, a gathering of my family and we were still dating at that point. And all I kept thinking was, you see, if he doesn't propose today. <laughs> and I just kept thinking, why am I thinking that? And it was just such a confusing day for me. It was so strange. But all in all, the Lord had told me already. I kept having these visions of this exact, literally exact ring um, in my visions you know and i can't keep coming closer and closer and closer in my spirit prior to that and so when you stick with god he will prepare you for everything and so thank you guys so much um it's busy to do with the supernatural life i am so excited to see what you guys have to say in the comment section and see you guys next week Bye. beginning of this how are we going to be there's no way. There's no way. I'm not going to come So today. What? And then we go.
help you You must keep your phone next moment. to yourself. Help me away!